We're on a mission to find out just how much 100 Injective, INJ, will be worth by 2025. I've got a team of top-notch analysts, crypto experts, and even a fortune teller, and we're pulling out all the stops to make the best predictions possible. Will Injective skyrocket and make us all rich, or will it crash and burn? Stay tuned to find out. Hit that like button, subscribe, and let's get this crypto party started. At the time of recording, the token of the Injective ecosystem, INJ is trading at about $26.16 per coin, with a live market cap of about $2.4 billion. To purchase 100 INJ coins, you would need around $2,600. The current value of INJ is more than 50% lower than the price it achieved earlier this year around January, when it topped out at $46. Despite its substantial price increase, INJ remains a promising investment with the potential to generate significant returns. It stands out as one of the most impactful utility projects in recent years, with its blockchain becoming a major DeFi hub attracting traders worldwide, including those from the Solana and Ethereum ecosystems. It was at this time that it reached that price in January and has now become the token's all-time high till date, and it is poised to even surpass that price level. Injective's impressive growth has led many to wonder if they've missed out on major gains, evoking both FOMO and curiosity about the sustainability of its rise. Attention seems to have shifted from INJ and spread to other coins, with the market brimming with many more earning potential. The coin's highest recorded price was $46.37 per coin, reached in January 2024. Currently, trading at around $26, the price remains close to this all-time high, is close to the price it reached in the 2021 bull run. During that time, INJ reached a high of $24.98. Then the coin went on a significant dump down to as low as $1 in the course of 2022. That was about the only opportunity available for everyone to get as much as 100 INJ tokens for as low as $100. And now look at how far it has gone by growing more than 40x to set a new all-time high in 2024. Sure, no one could have predicted that much of a growth on the off sense of it, but the injective blockchain is one that has proven to be of great utility, and its DeFi capability has reassured investors of its long-term growth capabilities. This is why predictions for INJ are a little on the high side. First, the market will fancy a return above its all-time high to about $50, effectively setting a new all-time high. And of course, there will be a bit of a correction as buyers cash out from buying the current dip with about 2x their investment at the current price. From there, we can anticipate a growth of up to $60 to $70 as the market matures further. We've been catching a whiff of the bull run for a while now, but it hasn't really happened. But the market has drawn a whole lot of attention, and many ready buyers are poised to tap into the next big pump on any coin. If INJ touches $60 to $70, your 100 INJ coins will be worth about six dollars to $7,000. On the far end of that is an expectation that INJ will maybe touch $100 per token and set a record all-time high. This kind of run-up to this price will put it in the same league as Solana, which went down in the dumps from being valued at about $270 to about $9 per coin. I think at that point, a lot of people underrated the potential of a comeback and looked at what later happened. INJ coin was probably that overlooked as well, but then it surged up to $46 and it is currently looking to get on a bounce up to about $50. Who knows, maybe we will see it reach as high as $90 to $100. Yes, unlike Solana, these would be new price levels for injective, uncharted waters. And I think it would only signify that the bull run came early for the injective ecosystem at large if this happens by 2025. If you hold till then and it trades at that price, your 100 INJ would be worth close to $9,000 to $10000. Buying this amount of tokens at the current price poses the question, how long can you hold? If you are looking to tap in and out, you might not get the best value, of course. If you've got a large capital, every 10 to 20% growth would feel pretty good if you are pretty good at spot trading. Achieving the projected price level, even at the $50 level, entails enduring several dips. And looking at the blockchain, it might be just worth the wait. The injective ecosystem stands out as a leading force in blockchain innovation making it an easy sell for those recognizing its immense potential. Injective is at the forefront of optimizing decentralized finance, operating as a decentralized network that offers scalable plug-and-play Web3 modules. These modules, including a decentralized order book, empower developers to create sophisticated decentralized financial applications. The order book allows applications to seamlessly launch exchanges and prediction markets on the blockchain, heralding a new era of decentralized financial possibilities. 
A key differentiator for Injective is its inherent interoperability, both within sovereign layer one blockchain networks and through inner blockchain communication, IBC capabilities. This feature enables cross-chain transactions, allowing seamless movement of assets and data across various blockchains, such as Ethereum, Moonbeam, IBC-enabled chains like Cosmos Hub, and wormhole-integrated chains like Solana and Avalanche. In practice, tokens introduced on the Injective blockchain can easily traverse multiple networks. Additionally, crypto assets and Web3 data from diverse blockchains can be transferred onto Injective, paving the way for a variety of applications built on the platform. The network has seen exciting developments in the past two years. Notably, since Q3 2022, Injective has supported Cosmwasm, an auto-executing smart contracting platform designed for the Cosmos ecosystem. Cosmwasm allows developers to deploy smart contract-enabled dApps on the blockchain and migrate existing contracts from other chains supporting Cosmwasm. In Q4 2022, Injective introduced on-ramp access for fiat currency, bridging traditional financial channels with the decentralized world. Thus, INJ is bringing a whole different scope into just how much better the DeFi trading can be if the right instruments are brought into the mix. Also, the token was minted with the mind to create a hint of scarcity and further drive the demand as the years progress. The native token of Injective, INJ, was introduced with an initial supply of 100 million coins, designed to gradually increase over time through block rewards. Injective implemented a target inflation rate of 7% at launch, which will taper down to 2% over time to maintain a balanced economic model. Notably, the total supply may end up being lower than the initial supply due to the incorporation of a deflationary mechanism. Beyond its role as a transactional asset, INJ token is utilized as an alternative to stablecoins, serving as margin and collateral for Injective's derivatives markets. Additionally, in certain markets, it functions as collateral backing or for insurance pool staking, enabling stakers to earn interest on their locked coins. Injective is poised for exciting upgrades in its Web3 applications particularly with the influx of NFTs and gaming projects leveraging its highly scalable solutions. This development aims to attract developers from the Ethereum blockchain, offering a faster and more cost-effective dApp development experience without the burden of high transaction fees. Additionally, users will find easier access to applications built on Injective. Given these advancements, there's a belief that Injective could achieve a rise similar to Solana's, potentially reaching into the hundreds in value. However, it's important to approach such investments with caution. Thoroughly research and understand the market before buying Injective, and avoid making decisions based on FOMO. What is your price prediction for INJ in 2024? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next one.